Today we are making the ultimate Mexican beef. It's a real game changer for meal prep. This dish effortlessly transforms into a hearty burrito bowl, classic tacos, savory sandwiches, and even a delightful pasta dish. I always need to whip up a big batch, plus it freezes really well, although it vanishes quickly so you really don't have a chance. Join me in whipping up this delicious Mexican beef. You won't regret it. I've got this chuck steak with some serious marbling. Maybe a bit more fat than I would like, so I'll trim that off. I started with 3 pounds of beef, which is about 1.4 kilograms, but after trimming the fat off, the meat may not even be a kilo. As this recipe is quite forgiving, it turned out great with much less meat. Now we're going to slice this into chunky pieces. We'll shred the beef when it's cooked, so once again, the size of meat pieces isn't crucial at all. Next up, let's infuse this with some Mexican flavors, starting with dried oregano for a mild lemony and peppery kick, followed by coriander powder, allspice, and trusty paprika. If you do not have hands on these spices, you can still use taco seasonings or similar salts. Let's chop up a medium-sized onion. This is a one-pot recipe and I'm going to use a pressure cooker. You can use a heavy bottomed pot like a stock pot or Dutch oven or a slow cooker. A little olive oil goes into the pot and I'll brown the seasoned meat in batches. This process locks in the flavors. Oh, I forgot the salt, so let's sprinkle some salt. Once the meat's done, I will add a touch more olive oil to the pot and throw in minced garlic and the chopped onion. Meat goes back into the pot, followed by half to one cup of beef stock or veggie stock, in my case, using up leftovers. About half a cup of water and a can of crushed tomatoes. Be sure to add about half cup more broth if you are using a normal pot. I like to use my pressure cooker for its speedy cooking time. Now pop the lid on, lock it tight and let the pressure cooking work. It's magic. I love adding beans to my Mexican beef. It's a nutrient boost, great for weight control and stretches your protein dollars. While the beef is cooking, I drain two cans of black beans and rinse them until the water runs clear, then set them aside. When my pressure cooker starts making noise and the cooking indicator is up, I turn off the heat and let it sit until the pressure goes down. This is the perfect time to whip up some optional pico de gallo, a fresh tomato salsa that's super simple to make. I dice up two tomatoes and half a Spanish onion, reserving the other half for guacamole. I add a handful of chopped coriander or cilantro and a dash of lime juice. Oh wait, my lime isn't juicing but no worries, that will do. Season with salt and pepper and voila, pico de gallo is ready. Now that the indicator is down, I can safely open the lid. Looks pretty good. If your beef isn't quite tender yet, you can cook it more until it is fork tender and shreddable, as long as there's enough liquid left. Season again. Once the beef is tender, I take it out and shred it using two forks. Then 
and I return the shredded meat to the pot. Along with the beans. Back on the hob it goes to reduce to the desired consistency. Now for my simplified guacamole, I scoop out the avocado flesh and mash it with a fork. Then mix in the diced onion and finely chopped cilantro or coriander. I will use lemon juice instead of lime and season with salt and pepper and that's it. My beef looks ready so I give it a final seasoning before serving. For a burrito bowl, place a generous portion of the Mexican beef and bean over a better brown rice. Top it up with some zesty pico de gallo, a dollop of creamy guacamole, and a spoonful of tangy Greek yogurt. The beef is so tender and bursting with smoky flavor. The fresh salsa, guacamole, and yogurt not only enhance the taste, but also balance out the richness of the beef perfectly. The next day, we transformed the leftovers into delicious tacos. But I whipped up some extra guacamole and pico de gallo and added some tangy onion pickles for an extra kick. It was an absolute hit. This Ertimi Mexican beef recipe has become a staple in my kitchen, especially since it's a frequent request from my teenage daughter. Whether you are meal prepping or looking for a quick and delicious dinner option, this dish has you covered. Thanks so much for your company. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't. As always, take care and keep cooking.